What's up, y'all? It is I, She's Pizza, in a very different setting. I am back to where I originally lived my first 13 years of growing up. I'm back here. The basement is history now. The basement is nothing but the past. Wow, I look exceptionally young here. It's because the weird hair makes me look like I'm from a couple decades ago. I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Back in my apartment. I have a door. Windows where cold air actually can come in. There's actually ventilation and whatnot. If it's hot, I can turn off the heater. If it gets cold, I can close the window. There's a fan. It needs to be cleaned. And I have my room back. Space. I can walk upright. That basement did not fit someone that's six feet. I'm six feet. Let's go. Um, uh, yeah, I'm back. There's still st some stuff to unpack. You dig? But we're back. Back in my apartment. That basement is to the meth heads as it should. And I'm back where I belong for the most part. Oh, you see that? That nasty thing right there? Don't worry, it'll be gone in a week. Better. Yeah. You know, main thing I know, the, the first thing I noticed was, it's so quiet. Oh my god. Because as said before, there was only one door. That was the door to get in. So everything else, the two rooms, me and the parents, kitchen and bathroom, all that was just closed off by curtains, and now with the door closed, I could just sit in silent ambience and look out the window if I want to. Mind you, we're only on the second floor, so I'm not getting some grandiose view or anything, but wow, it is so nice to be back. <laughs> I'm sick, I'm not crying. Uh, yeah. How long am I going to be here? Hopefully until... I die of old age or something because, wow, it, it is tranquility to be back in this setting. To have a chair, comfort, a bed I can bounce on, not a rock-hard mattress, sofa, bed thingy. It smells like a normal home. I can walk barefoot because I'm not going to be stepping on concrete. My internet is good. It's crazy how these things are standard for a lot of people. And after being three years, essentially, on the very down, or the bummy part of living for three years, wow, you really appreciate things that were given to you. I don't hate the basement. That, that basement, those three years I spent in that basement were well spent. I appre That basement has taught me lessons in life that I should appreciate things given to me because there are people that have it way worse than me. You know, living like that, especially as someone who plays video games, to have Wi-Fi so horrible for three years that I couldn't play what I wanted whenever I wanted. Some days or weeks, who, who knows, with the Wi-Fi would be so horrible you couldn't do anything. It limits your creativity, and it did. Because essentially it bummed me out on multiplayer games. I did play them, of course, as you all know. But now the fact that I can play and even stream a, a damn game I want whenever I like. It's a privilege that I did not realize was so nice to have. But that basement is old news now. You know, if we ever cross that area, I might... I'm not going to go in there because there's people shooting up syringes and dope down there probably now immediately as soon as we left. The whole situation as to why we left is complicated. Um, we, didn't lose, we didn't move on our own will. We got evicted. But turn that into a good thing for us. They'll, they'll regret it because we did everything for those people. Horrible, horrible people over there. But yeah, life is now back to normal. You dig? And that's really it. I'm back where I belong, you know. What can you see here? Playing Life is Strange, if you didn't see what was on the TV. It's nice. It's really good to be back. It is so nice. Oh my god. The best thing I said is the silence. Oh my god. 
I, I still do have to talk like this because, you know, walls are thin. It's a damn apartment. And that door is essentially always open unless I lock it. But locking it's just weird. But, yeah, we back. Good Wi-Fi. I don't know. Subscribe or die.